In this edition of Health Matters, we're visiting the Florida Medical Clinic and discuss two of their medical practices, cardiology and audiology. Then we'll visit with Trinity Spine Center for more spine therapy information. And at Bella Prana, we're getting a first look at yoga and all of its benefits. Today, we're at Florida Medical Clinic here in Zephyr Hills, and we're speaking with cardiac electrophysiologist, Dr. Nadim Khan. Dr. Khan helps diagnose problems ranging from simple heart palpitations to life-threatening arrhythmias, and his detective work has helped many patients successfully overcome various heart issues. Dr. Khan, what is electrophysiology? Electrophysiology is a subspecialty of cardiology. Basically, you can think of me as an electrician of the heart. I help diagnose and treat um, the electrical problems of the heart. Yeah. You hear the word cardiac arrhythmias. What are some of the symptoms and what are they exactly? Uh, if you look at the word arrhythmia, it just means out of rhythm. So it can be fast heart rhythms or it can be slow heart rhythms. So the symptoms most people come in with, if they have fast heart rhythm, they, they, they feel heart palpitations. Basically, they are aware of their heartbeats. Mm -hmm. The heart can be fast or it can be irregular. Mm -hmm. the, other, the other problem is they can also be lightheaded when the heart goes too fast and they can be passing out. Um, if the heart is too slow, pe people feel tired sometimes, but they can also have a lightheadedness or pass out. Uh, the other symptoms people have of arrhythmias include chest pains if the heart is going too fast. Uh, they can be short of breath. Uh, people can develop heart failure mm -hmm. uh, from cardiac arrhythmias. Is so, this caused mostly by heart disease in general? Yes. Uh, um, it is a very common uh, clinical condition in patients with uh, cardiac conditions, mm -hmm. especially if they have coronary artery disease. But uh, my specialty uh, ranges the gamut of uh, all the way from pediatrics to uh, elderly. Mm -hmm. So in pediatrics, usually you have uh, congenital problems uh, uh, like extra electrical pathways in the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, there can be others, uh, other stuff like uh, short circuits in the heart. But as a person gets older, you get into more like uh, problems like atrial fibrillation mm -hmm. or ventricular tachycardias or bottom chamber arrhythmias that can be uh, you know far more life threatening mm -hmm. um, you know so my specialty um, ranges from something as treating um, symptoms of heart palpitations which are just a nuisance all the way to life threatening problems is it preventable or predictable if you know ahead of time, is it is preventable. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it is predictable, especially, uh, let's say somebody had a heart attack, okay? They can have um, the heart go out of rhythm. So we sometimes tend to put in defibrillators that helps prevent death. Uh, yeah, that's how we, we can do that. Mm -hmm. We can also go in and cauterize or ablate uh, the trouble problems in the heart, you know, where, you know, that's another way we can help prevent the problems. After a heart attack, does a person have to be three times as much concerned about their heart? They automatically get concerned about yeah. the heart after a heart attack. It's a life, life changing event for most people. Right. Uh, yes, you know, it does complicate their medical history going forward. Mm -hmm. And one of the complications is the electrical problems of the heart they, that you, you, you might encounter. Okay. You mentioned a defibrillator. What is that exactly? Um, it is a small uh, can. It g gets put under the skin mm -hmm. and it's connected by wires to the heart. Mm -hmm. So if you can think about uh, um, a short circuit that goes on in the bottom chamber, the heart can go up to like 200, 300 times a minute. And that's too fast for the heart to beat and the patient will pass out and can die. Mm -hmm. So if the defibrillator sees that, it will shock the heart back to normal and th thereby preventing sudden death. You know, that can happen 24 hours a day. You know, mm -hmm. it, it gets to your heart before any EMS can get, get to you. It has saved several, <laughs> several hundred patients' lives that I've known of wow. in my practice, yeah. Let's also talk about the life vest. That's another uh, life-saving uh, yes. instrument. So, so defibrillator is inside and it's permanent. Now, a life vest uh, is put on in situations where uh, where we are in some doubt of, uh, we're, not, uh, we're not supposed to put in defibrillators within like 40 days of a heart attack, let's say. Mm -hmm. 
So for that period of time, a person can still get uh, the electrical problem and have a serious consequence. Mm -hmm. So uh, Life First is like a wearable defibrillator that a patient can wear. It has a pretty cool technology. You know, it has, uh, uh, it has space age technology. So th if, if it sees the bad heart rhythm, there's little uh, pieces of uh, gel that squirts out on the patient and it shocks the patient and thereby keeping the patient alive. I, I just had uh, um, recently a patient who was discharged from the hospital. Mm -hmm. he, he's lucky to be alive uh, with, with the life vest and eventually he went in to get a defibrillator. Wow, so yeah. it does save people's lives. Oh yes. If you become aware of symptoms like heart palpitations, lightheadedness, or maybe neurological symptoms, your primary care should send you to a specialist like Dr. Khan here at the Florida Medical Clinic for a checkup. Florida Medical Clinic is the Bay Area's first clinic to combine primary care and specialist all under one roof. If you'd like more information, go to great38.com, click on Health Matters. Go ahead, grab a healthy snack and meet us right back here.